Yo, what's going on, Internet? Today, I'm super, super excited. Why? Because I just got this in. It is the album art cover that I designed. Yes! Yes! For my friends from the band, The Grand Alliance, they just put out an album. Even the inside is really dope right there, as you can see. I designed the album art cover. We even get into the publication. Uh, my artwork is on the front cover right there. So I got the cover art right there. So I'm super excited about it. And this video is going to be really, really chill. I'm just gonna do a time lapse of basically the entire process of creating the album art cover and sort of some of the behind the scenes that was captured. But I'm just going to explain exactly, you know, how everything came about and then, you know, the design and everything and then the you know just showcasing a little bit more of the album art physically and the record right here so this video is going to be really chill but before we get into it make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified whenever i do videos like this now let's get to it hey so one of the first things i want to really say is that this is a project from the group the grand alliance and it's by kayla marquis sir ells and carl Correll. i know all of them personally they are really great people and their music is actually on spotify and apple music and a bunch of other sort of places you can stream it and buy it as well because we need you know act actual people to buy it not just stream it so definitely if you can buy the music so one of the first things that i want to say is that i did every everything in procreate uh, 5x that's the version and basically the brushes that i used were the kanyanyi i think that's how you pronounce it and the syrup brush and those were basically i think they're stock brushes but i did customize them a little bit so those were the two that i used the most and the next brush that i used to do the sketching was the the soft medium brush so so like turning down the opacity i'm able to sketch with it uh really lightly and just uh, basically give myself sort of like the boundaries of where i'm going to put the colors and then i used this light brush which was a big help because i don't really know how to make brushes that well in procreate i'm not a pro so basically i bought this one on the open sort of third party market and sort of imported it into procreate this project and the other sort of uh, third party elements that I sort of imported were these sort of stamps. It's like kind of like a, a paint stamp. So I wanted to make sure that it felt like a painting. So I had to actually sort of buy a couple of these sort of stamps that you can use in the background. Uh, so you're going to see those later when I start to fill in the background, how I did that using the stamps and the light sort of brush and sort of these other sort of paint textured uh, because, you know, the standard stock uh, Procreate tools, you can't really do that automatically. So I actually had to buy some of these third party brushes to be more efficient and to do what I want to um, sort of like easier. Uh, but this was a really great project that I was able to work on because I know all of them, especially Carl Correll, uh, the actual producer. That's the one I'm sort of sketching right now. And Carl was someone that I actually uh, enlisted for my last exhibition uh, with Red Bull. And it was the exhibition where I created an entire museum and the museum was dedicated to this imaginary band in the future. So it was like a fake band, uh, but they came together and made actual music off of the instruments that I created. So Carl was basically one of the musicians that played on this sort of synth sort of painting and he did amazing uh during sort of that entire project so he's basically a musician in denver and he reached out to me with his project that he was doing and once he said that you know he was actually putting out an album and he wanted me to do the album art cover i was super excited about it because i never did an album art cover like this before he was actually getting some pressed vinyl so you know it would be sort of like the original sort of you know what album art covers used to be to where you know you're in a record store you're just flipping through the records and you're just picking you know the record sometimes based off of the album art so for me this was like a cool project where I wanted to dive into sort of that space. So I said yes. And the next thing, you know, was really just coming together with the rest of the team that he put together. And the team uh, was really cool because it involved another friend of mine, Blake Jackson, 
who did a photo shoot with uh, the band, the Grand Alliance, and pretty much had, you know, special effects and lights and, you know, the styling and, you know, the, the idea for this band was more of a futuristic Afro-punk-esque, you know, Battlestar Galactica look. And, you know, that's what they did when I sort of asked them about, you know, getting some reference photos from them. So when they did the photo shoot with the band, you know, it looked really cool. I actually inserted a video here so that you can see part of the behind the scenes of the actual photo shoot. But, you know, they did sort of different looks and different sort of angles and everything. So it was exciting to get reference photos from that shoot. Um, the thing is, like, I actually used some of the behind the scenes reference photos for uh, the character Carl and the character that I just sketched out, Sir Els. And basically it was those reference photos from behind the scenes that I really liked because I was just sorting through them and they just sort of spoke to me rather than the ones that they did for the actual shoot. The one with Kayla coming up is one that I just took from the actual sort of plan, sort of look in the photo shoot. But you know, really it's just all about sorting through the content that's created from the photo shoot, whether it's behind the scenes or whether it was planned to sort of find that inspiration. And this is the, actually the first of two sketches and coloring of the character Kayla that I did for the album cover. This one, you know, my first initial thoughts for the composition was to have more of her uh, body in there as well because they did have weapons. Um, during the photo shoot so I wanted to sort of incorporate that and you know just add something different than just the the heads and you know just having something more of a, a staggered look as well uh, but this one you know was the initial sort of uh, idea and it does lean more towards having this sort of taller more portrait style proportion um, but so it was a little bit more of a challenge to fit this into more of a square a sort of uh, record one foot by one foot because they were having plans of pressing vinyl and the vinyl uh, records the sleeves are you know one foot by one foot 12 inches by 12 inches so basically we decided on having uh, a change to have sort of her head as well a lot closer up so I quickly uh, sort of just sketch it out based on tracing uh, the actual reference photo for this one and it sort of turned out a lot better in the end because there was just more of a balance on this one where it felt like you know there was a triangle uh, one at the top and two at the bottom on e either sides and that was sort of a symbol that they used in their uh, photo shoot so it kind of matched this as well so that's basically what you know we ended up going with and this one I really like too because like I said it has more of a square sort of proportioned feel to it so that was one of the reasons why you know this was a lot better because we didn't have to sort of force anything um, based on you know how the proportions sort of were uh, we can sort of change it up to this to where everything sort of fit and one other thing that I really sort of learned during this project was the idea of doing everything in layers so that if, it, if I need to change something up you know I can not only that they were thinking of using a lot of the elements in this uh, album art for sort of other platforms as well so it had to be able to sort of change and shift up and you know have other creators ha add element to it um, you know like animation um, for more video sort of advertisements things like that so for me this was super different than actually going to the canvas and actually painting uh, something like this this is something I'm able to easily just do you know on the couch I'm able to you know sketch things out and just have it sort of uh, adjusted afterwards but you know after I had all the heads sort of filled out you know then it becomes you know sort of a question of what do I want everything else to look like so you can actually just see me just like think of different ideas and think of how to actually use these stamps and textures and new brushes to sort of you know different things uh, on the background to sort of make it feel like you know everything sort of uh, 
uh, adjusted. But this was basically the first composition uh, that I was thinking of um, with the first sketch of Kayla that eventually, like, of course, like I was just saying, like, changed in the end. Um, but I was doing the background during the initial sketch and trying to figure out exactly what the sort of the coat and you know what the chest area would look like for each of these individuals and you know how did i want them to sort of uh you know be sort of executed or rendered and a lot of it is just feel it's just like me throwing things on the canvas and seeing what sticks seeing what sort of i feel seeing how it sort of uh brings out the energy of that afro futurism sort of uh themed look and just seeing how it goes and you know this had to sort of stretch to the rest of the background uh on the back as well so i did something that could easily be stretched uh, to the sleeve so the the back side of the actual vinyl sleeve so using these lights and using this sort of big stamp and this color wash and you know i think this really worked out really really well it gave me anxiety at the beginning just thinking about how to do an album art cover but you know overall i think this really came out sort of the way i wanted it to and super stoked at the end result and seeing how they're using it now like i said at the beginning of the video like we get uh, sort of covered in the Westward magazine where we have our stuff on Spotify and Apple Music So I'm super glad this project came about so I'm super glad to even just show you exactly sort of how I sort of created You know the album art cover So I'm glad you got to see some of the behind the scenes of like how this thing was created and the time lapse and You know like I said, you know, this was a great project definitely go out there and get some of the music if you love it because i'm playing it for the background of this video so i'm pretty sure you guys will love the music so hopefully i will see you next time peace